why in today's video I thought I would do a review of the Nebet pattern by Studio 77. I've made a couple of these and I know it was part of the last release of the So Modern bag bundle. So if anybody's purchased that bundle and has seen the Nebet and wants to see it in the flesh, I thought today's video might help. So stay tuned. Hi, welcome back to my channel, The Bag Makers Society. My name's Deb and I make videos on all things bag making. I also run a bag making supply business here in the UK called Me Made Makes. And as I said in the sort of brief introduction at the beginning of the video, I'm going to go through um, the couple of Nabet bags that I've made. Um, sort of, I think this year, I've made them both, both this year. So I will show you the first one. So this is the first one that I made. Um, I can't remember where I got this vinyl from. It is really lovely though, so I wish I could remember where it come from. Um, but unfortunately, I can't. So this was the first one that I made. I actually made this um, because we used this pattern in the retreat that I held at the beginning of this year. And this was sort of the prototype that I made up so that I kind of knew what I was doing at, at the retreat so it can be a little bit daunting because there are a lot of pattern pieces um, so it can feel a little bit daunting but it goes together so well and so clever so there's actually no stabilizers in this bag at all um, obviously there's parts of it that are interfaced where I've used where I've used cotton on the lining but the rest of the bag there is no um, stabilizers all of the structure of the bag come from these really clever seams so again it looks a little bit daunting because there is quite a lot of seams but the pattern is very well written um, I found it fairly easy to follow even with my slightly unwired brain um, it is just literally taking each seam at a time and it will come together beautifully so it has a recessed zipper and the inside has oh, i'll just take my crossbody strap out the inside has lots of different pocket dividers this is all part of the pattern very easy to follow along so there is um a bottle sort of divider and then more dividers in the middle so it separates the front and the back the zip at the back is in into the seam so you're not creating any um zipper openings or anything like that it's all part of how the bag comes together so it's very cleverly done um this cotton i think came from bst um if i remember rightly and it's the same that is in my piping down the front there's a zip in the front part which is a perfect size for your phone if you want to keep that nice and secure the rolled handles is all part of the pattern as well which shows you um you know how to how to attach them how to make them everything and then there's crossbody strap connectors on the side as well and i have my crossbody strap here which again it will come as no surprise to see that it is um a strap made using the triad pack from lavender and wine because that is one of my favorite ways to make crossbody straps so yeah so this like i say it came together you know quite quite quickly um it you know it, it is a lot of seams but like i say one seam at a time that's all you need to think about and it will come together really well i love the unusualness of this round part here which gives the bag a really sort of different shape and really nice structure and then I made a second using some embossed vinyl that I had and a piece of I think it's Rex 4 leather which comes from So Hot or Emma Line bags and I did maybe me make a few changes to the pattern just to kind of see how it went so this is this is the next bag that I made so this is the next Nabet that I made. Now I did make quite a few changes 
I did leave out the piping on this bag. Reason being is because of the lining colour that I was, of the lining fabric that I was using, it was quite busy and I really felt it would clash with this vinyl. So I did leave the piping out. And what I should have done is I should have extended my um, zip flap here because obviously these little gaps where you can see the zip is where the piping would be but I didn't think about that as I was making it but uh, you know I still love it I'm still really pleased with it um but yeah in with hindsight I should have extended this or um maybe it's just gone and bought some plain fabric to do the piping with so you'll see my lining was really quite a busy lining and I did really feel that it would clash with with the exterior and the plain parts weren't kind of wide enough to make plain binding out of so I did try and play with it for a little bit and then decided I was going to leave the piping out um, and I still think the bag looks absolutely like beautiful even without that piping so I have the, the round parts in this plain um, Rex, I think it's, I want to say raspberry, but I might be wrong with that colour. Um, it was actually sent to me by somebody very kindly. And yeah, so I'm not 100% sure of what the name of it is, but I, think, I want to say raspberry. Um, and then obviously I use that in these um, strap parts and the plain part here. Um, and then obviously in my straps as well. So I made the straps, again, not surprisingly, using the triad pack from Lavender and Twine. Um, so you might be able to see that the middle part is the embossed vinyl and the outer part is the plain vinyl. Um, my machine sewed through that absolutely no problem. I do have as you can probably see, an industrial machine. So that does make it a little bit easier. Um, but I could have used um, the cotton from, from my lining as also my accent piece in the middle. But I had enough left of the embossed vinyl that I, I just really wanted to make the strap that way. So in this bag as well, I did leave out the intersection parts of the, the lining. So all of the pocket pieces and I've just got the zipper um, as per the pattern and then I just added in a little slip pocket. Um, again the reason that I didn't put all of the pockets in is because this lining was you know there's quite a bit going on and I just felt it would have just been a bit too much and I didn't have a matching fabric like to sort of coordinate or match so I just omitted them. So it still goes together really well even without those middle sections in because that's done sort of separately and then added into the lining. So I just kind of skipped over that part within the pattern. Um, I did change my handles up ever so slightly. So I used these diamond connectors and I wasn't, again, I wasn't sure how it would look, how it would turn out, but I'm actually really pleased with how it, how it came out. I think they look really nice against um, this plain part I think it makes it really like stand out quite well um, and my straps are done using the colour pop strap from lavender and twine um, so yeah so hopefully if you sort of on the fence about trying this pattern out if you got it as part of the the so modern bags hopefully I might have inspired you to have a go if you do make one please do um come in the facebook group and share your makes in there love to see them or if you've made in a bet as well then please do post in the in the comments and let me know so i hope you've enjoyed my um little brief video today on the nabet bag by studio 77 if you've enjoyed this video please do consider giving it a thumbs up the youtube algorithm will love you for it and more importantly so will i and please do subscribe to the channel for more bag making videos in the future until next time see you soon bye